Hey guys, um, today is the Harry Potter nail tutorial. Um, I was kind of iffy, I didn't know if I wanted to do this, and it's 1221, so everyone who's watching the midnight premiere is watching it already. Um, but I want to do this anyway because I'm going tomorrow, well, today, to see it, and, um, this is the little nail design I came up with. This one's a little lightning bolt, this is Hedwig, Harry Potter logo, um, Harry's scarf, and then Harry Potter. Um, so hopefully this is a really quick and easy tutorial. I know it's not going to be super quick. Um, the hardest part was the Harry Potter logo, but I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. So, um, we're going to start off with what you need. Um, do -do -do, let me put the lids back on everything. Um, you're going to need like a black or I'm using like a grayish color and this is Tropical Storm by LA Colors and it's just like a gunmetal gray color and you're going to apply that to your middle and your pinky finger for the um, ring finger you're going to need a white and this is French white by Petite for the pointer finger you're going to need um, like a gold color and this is just like golden yellow color by LA Colors I don't know the name but if you want to know just leave a comment and I'll find out for the uh, thumb, you're going to need a nude color, and once again, this is just a nude color by LA Colors, and I don't know the name of it offhand. Um, for the scarf, you're just going to need a red, and then um, for Harry, you need a black, and I'm using Art Deco Striper. Um, striper polish that has the thin brush. And then for the lightning bolt, you're just going to need a yellow, which is also by Art Deco. So, um, to start this off, we're going to start by doing um, Harry's face. And dotting tools will also come in handy throughout the um, tutorial. You can use dotting tools, um, uh, pins, toothpicks, anything. So to start off... <coughs> Also, I got a tripod, so tell me if this is any better. I know the lighting's kind of off because it's really late, but just tell me if you like this any better. You're going to take your black striper polish. Oh, and I have put two coats of every nail polish on my nails. So this is all two coats. And it's going to look like there's nothing on my nails except for some black polish, um, but this is just the nude color. And what I did was I just drew line straight across okay and yeah I got it on my finger just like right up to the skin and while it's still wet I have one of these it came with like a nail kit you can see nail polish all over it I just like to clean that off um, you can use nail polish remover as well but I hate having nail polish on my cuticle. Oh, yeah, it's all smeared. Okay, well, we'll clean that up later. And then for the hair, I just did some zigzags. I had one big zigzag down the side. Oops, I'm out of view. The other hand was difficult um, because I am right handed and usually my tutorials I only do on one hand because I um, I don't get to wear them because I usually have work. So this one's actually going to get worn. Okay, and now that this polish has dried a bit, I'm going to 
try to clean it up a little bit more. Like I said, this tool I just got from like a manicure kit that I got for Christmas. But yeah, so, so far this is what the little hair looks like. And then I just stick some black polish onto, this is the back of a picture, I think I've mentioned that before. And then I'm just going to take the dotting tool, stick it right into the heap of polish, and do two Ooh, those are way off. Yikes. Let me try to fix that really quick. Okay, well, he's just gonna have super big eyes on this hand. And then, make a little line. Connecting them, and then um, later on when we get the white polish out, we will add the um, pupils and stuff like that. And then, while we're here, we're waiting for that to dry, we'll just go ahead and do the scarf. All I did was I take the red polish and I take off as much as I can. And then, I just did one big stripe. And then, one more stripe. like so. So that's what those look like. And then um, while I have this black polish here, I'm going to go ahead and take the um, larger, see I like to have my finger resting on something, and I'm just going to go ahead and do two big dots I'm going to take the black polish again I'm using the um, striper pen when you're doing fine lines you're going to want to take off almost all the polish off the brush I'm just going to make like, kind of like, angry lines. And then we're going to take the uh, gray color that we use for the base coat. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the red. And we're going to take off almost all the polish off the brush. And then we're going to do like a super thin, um, like French manicure at the bottom. And if you do this technique, you will get nail polish on the bottom of your finger. But I just use that brush, or that little tool. I try to soak up as much as I can. And then, see I'm just like, I just try to like constantly keep moving. Um, like after I do one thing, then I just keep moving on to the next. Um, it just helps the manicure go a lot faster. So then we're just going to dot on some of this gray polish. And then you're going to take the smallest um, dotting tool that you have. And we're going to be adding... Where'd that red polish go? We're going to be adding some detailing to Hedwig's, Hedwig's face. We're going to add like a little triangle for his nose, for his little beak, and then some little lines that connect onto the corner of his beak. And then you can go back with the black and dot it right over top of where that gray was. just to cover up 
the gray that got onto the black eyes. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take our yellow. And for some reason this yellow is like the runniest yellow polish ever. I had to look at my camera for a second, I thought it wasn't recording. And just dot it right in the center of the gray beak. Like that. And while we have it out, we'll just go ahead and do our lightning bolt. And to do that, I'm just going to do one line in one direction, one line in the next direction, and then a parallel line to the first one. And then just go back over it again and the only thing that I forgot to do on Hedrig was take some of the gray on your dotting tool and just place it above the black line for a little bit more detail okay then I guess we'll start on the HP logo this is going to be super hard to do, especially since it's going to be upside down. But you're going to want to take off most of the polish off of your striper brush. And you're going to make one straight line down. Another straight line that's going to come down even further. And then a straight line next to that. Okay, and then... Go ahead and make your H with the little curly thing at the side. And then work on your P, which I try to just make a little square P because we'll go back and fix that a little bit later. And I'm just reloading my little brush. And then I just try to add some diagonals to my P and then I'm gonna put some black on my little piece of paper and I'm gonna take the smallest dotting tool size that I have again this is where I'm gonna try to add a little bit of detailing for instance um, I'm gonna add the straight lines on the top of the H and at the bottom Gonna add a little dot to the end of the H, and then we're gonna outline the P. Which I just need to turn around real quick. I need to be looking at it. Okay, sorry about that. So I outlined the P a little bit more. A little bit thick but this is what it looks like on this hand you can see like the little HP logo and then um, the only thing we have to finish up is to take some white on the dotting tool where's Harry here he is oh and dot it right in the center of his glasses so that there's just a rim left. And then you go back with the black and add his little eyes. And his face is going to look like that. So these are the two faces. These glasses are a little bit bigger. The two scarves. The two HP logos. Two head... <laughs> I keep saying that wrong. Headwood, head... Hedwig. And two uh, lightning bolts. So... 
this one keeps like peeling off I don't know but yeah so that's just my take on a little Harry Potter manicure I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any requests leave them below and let me know what you think of this um, set up with the tripod um, I'm gonna work on light lighting and stuff but yeah so thanks for watching guys I'll talk to you soon bye